What is going on fishing freaks? Welcome back to another unboxing reel review. I know you guys love these videos. So here we are today. We got a brand new reel for 2023. Before we get into the bird's eye view, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is digitaka.com. If you guys don't know, I get all my JDM tackle, whether it be reels, lines, lures, accessories, whatever JDM fishing that you can imagine, Digitaka is going to have it and they're probably the lowest prices in the whole wide world. If the low prices aren't low enough for you, well guess what? I have a brand new coupon code for all you guys out there just to show you my appreciation and how much I appreciate you guys subscribe to the channel. That new code is G47, that's GOLF47, it expires May 1st. So hurry up and take advantage. Use that tax money that you're getting, you're, you're about to get from the government. Go buy a new fishing reel. Without further ado, let's check out this brand new light, ultra light reel that Daiwa has ever created with a bird's eye view. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Super excited about this brand new reel from Daiwa called the Daiwa Air T 2023 model. It's the lightest spinning reel ever created from Daiwa. So I'm super excited to show you guys once again. Digitaka.com, thank you so much for sponsoring the video. And if you guys need to purchase anything from Digitaka.com, look at this box, man. Look how Fort Knox it is, man. They staple it, it's a thick box, straight from Japan to your doorstep within a couple of business days. You can trust them. So here we go, baby. Super, super excited, man. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. I hope you really got, you guys love these unboxing because I know I do. <laughs> it's like Christmas, man, all over again. There we go. Let's see. Nothing in the box right there. Oh, here we go. Digitaka Media. You guys are pretty well familiar with all this. Arigato. They sign it. All that good stuff. Put that to the side. And there we go, man. Super excited about this. Let's open her up. As you can see, look how well bubble wrapped it is. You know, it's going to be protected crossing that Pacific Ocean from Japan to Texas. There, right there. Oh, cool. This is new. I actually never seen this before. All right. So here we go. We got some braided line and we got the man of the hour, 2022, excuse me, 2023 Daiwa Air T. This is the LT2000SH, meaning it's a high gear. I opted for the high gear just because I like my reels that are high gear. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Here, so check out the box right there. You Japanese freaks, you have it right here in your face, made in Japan. So there's no questioning where it's going to be made in. Check out the specs right here. As you can see right there, look, nice lettering. Box is pretty, pretty familiar, pretty regular for Daiwa. But let's get to the meat and potatoes in the box itself. Woo! Nice. It comes with a nice little felt pouch here, I guess, to protect if you're not having it on your your rod you want to carry it around and there's the handle right there you guys can see put that to the side and there's a real oh my gosh this thing is really small i can tell already from the package but we have daiwa owner's manual which we don't care it's in japanese it's got some extra wash i guess wash drag washers here i guess that's what it is serial number so you guys know this is not fake news this is real news put that to the side there i really love how Daiwa and Shimano with their upper echelon type reels give you some kind of pouch to carry along to protect it. That's just added bonus to myself. Honestly, if you're gonna, you know, purchase a high-end reel like this Arity or Stella or Exist, you're expecting, you know, pouches. Put that to the side right there. And there she is, man. Look at that. I know you guys can't see it, but it is so freaking small. I can already tell. My gosh, super excited about this. I hope you love this mukbang uh, <laughs> unboxing noises. Woo, man, she is pretty. So nice, man. Right off the bat, what catches my eyes is the gold accents here. I know you guys probably, hopefully you can see it in the camera. And then on top of that, it has like a different color scheme to it. When you have light shining on it, it's like, um, Oh man, how do you how do you just how do you describe this? It's like it really bends light, right? Gunmetal finish, right? Not really polishy, not polished, not not matted at all, but it's more like in the middle, right? I hope that makes any sense. But when you kind of move it in the light right there, you can see like sparkles. And that's that's a nice touch from Daiwa. I really like the paint scheme of this. 
This is Daiwa's lightest spinning wheel they have ever created in the history of Daiwa. If you don't believe me, they even mentioned that on the Japanese website. So pretty excited about what they're offering here. And the Air T. Okay, what is Air T? You guys probably already know about the Exist. Probably know about the Saltiga. But what the heck is Air T? Well, I would say honestly, Daiwa's competitive model, uh, if you look at Shimano's lineup, would probably be the Vanquish. And Vanquish is known to be lightweight spinning reels that offer from the small sizes like this. But I think Daiwa, or excuse me, I think Shimano is going to offer a little bit smaller than this, all the way up to the 5000 series models, which are bigger, probably more geared. I wouldn't say for offshore, but more like near shore. Offshore, you probably want to look at the Stella Saltwater or perhaps Saltiga. The Air T is a model that is built for ultralight fishing built for lightness and have maximum strength. Like the smoothest of this, I would pretty much put it up there next to the Exist. If you guys don't know, the Exist from Daiwa, the Exist is comparable to Shimano's Stella lineup. The Air T is also a very high-end spinning reel. It takes a lot of the technology that the Exist has and kind of trinkles it down, but this is their lightweight lineup that's, if you compare it to Exist, it's actually lighter. For example, I have the LT, 2000 SH you see here guys the high gear one see if I can get that focus right there in the light this right here weighs 145 grams which is 5.1 ounces and that's pretty lightweight for a spinning reel and I, I don't know if you guys know but spinning reels in general are a little bit heavier than bait casting reels because there's more components they are trying to go with the lightweight BFS type um, fishing style now you can't call this a BFS because a lot of people will get mad at me for calling this BFS so we'll call it SFS I guess that's a new terminology these days BFS is bait finesse system SFS is I believe spinning finesse system if that makes any sense but honestly BFS I still call it BFS I don't care what anyone says but yeah this is a beautiful beautiful layout love the size love how lightweight it is and the cool thing about this is we'll get into this later but there is actually really no plastic parts so this is all metal and they kept the weight down under under 5.2 ounces 5.1 ounces sub 5 ounces if able to do that takes a lot of technology which they incorporate in their air whole air drive system which we'll talk about in just a minute uh, i would say this is a very versatile spinning reel you can use for light game and you can also use for near shore if you go with a 5000 size model i'm going to be using this to throw small little bug lures that's why i opted for the smallest model in their lineup i'm going to put thin braided line as you can guys see right here um, using to once again cast small lures at you know far distances and catch big red fish flounder speckled trout off the texas coast off my kayak so man i love the sound of that track clicker doesn't that sound really good let's talk about the specs so gear ratio wise you're going to come with a, a bunch of different gear ratios depending on what size model you get as you guys see right here i listed, listed the specs but however gear ratio is going to be determined by the model that you get so for example i have the lt 2000 sh once again this is the high gear model and this gear ratio model is i believe 5.8 there we go 5.8 and 5.8 is one of the options you can get 4.9 5.1 5.2 5.7 5.8 and 6.2 once again depending on the size of the reel that you opt uh, maximum drag force for this model particular model here is 10 pounds a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, well, 10 pounds, that's really nothing. But to be frank, 10 pounds is really all you really need if you're trying to fit, catch big redfish here off the Texas coast. Line capacity for this model right here, it's rated 0.4 gauge for 200 meters, around 200 yards. However, if you guys know me, I am a big fan of 1.2 gauge. i probably be able to put close to 100 yards on this reel right here with this 1.2 gauge because it's still very thin but it has that 27.1 pounds, if you guys see a 27.1 pound of power right there. So I think that's good enough for all the fish that we catch inshore here in Texas. Uh, spool diameter, you're looking at 42 millimeters, so therefore it's not gonna be the deepest spool. If you're looking for a reel in this model with a deeper spool, obviously you have to move up to the different models like the 3000, 4000, even up to 5000. Handle length, we have 45 millimeters, ball bearings 11, 
plus ones. This weight of this particular reel right here is 5.1 ounces. It could go all the way up to 7.2 ounces with the big 5000 model if you opt for that, um, for that option. But once again, I wanted something small. I wanted their smallest in their air drive or excuse me, in their air T lineup. And this is what I opted for. Man, this reel is super, super smooth. Man, love how it feels. It feels so solid in my hand. I mean, it looks great too. Love that clicker. It's very hollow. It sounds very high tech, very high end. And if you guys notice that the spool itself doesn't extend too far up and down when you're reeling it. Some spools really extend outwards and I really don't like that honestly because I feel like the line management is not in par or doesn't really manage the line really well. But with this new Air Team model, they put that technology where it's going to give you more cast because it actually has better line management, which we'll talk about in just a minute. I love small reels. You know, don't get me wrong, like the Soy. Here's the Shimano Soy right here. You guys have probably seen that video. I love how small this is, but honestly, this is super, super, super tiny. And let's just get a good comparison with this. As you guys can see, it is a little bit smaller versus this Daiwa, but not too much smaller. This is, this is Shimano's smallest spinning reel they offer. As you can tell, man, it's not, it's not, well, I mean, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess you can tell the Daiwa is a little bit more bigger, but I mean, you know, honestly going too small, especially with, if you have bigger hands like myself, that can be kind of cumbersome at times. And I feel like this is a perfect size LT2000. So we talked about the specs. Let's go ahead and talk about the features. Now, once again, this is the high-end model, not the high-end as it exists, but right underneath it. So it's gonna have a lot of great technology. So it's gonna have what you call the air drive system. And, and Daiwa, what they say, the air drive system, it consists of four features or four parts of this air drive system. And that's the air drive rotor, right here, the rotor, the bell, the spool itself, and the shaft inside. This all incorporates the air drive system, making this unit very lightweight and very strong and that's the technology that they get from the exist also included in this model is a mag seal as you can see the lettering right there it is mag sealed as i mentioned earlier daiwa incorporated a long cast abs so therefore they put the technology in a spool bottom line what that means is going to give you a much better casting distance versus older daiwa models because it has better line management and less friction in the spool itself very smooth and the new trend with Daiwa is the monocoque body. As you can see, it's a one piece body right here, reducing extra several unnecessary parts, uh, costs, weight too is reduced. The strength is uh, fortified because it's one piece and therefore just makes it a better overall fishing experience. And uh, of course you have the bail system, one piece bail, smooth. It's actually thinner compared to the old outgoing air team model i think it's 2.4 millimeter versus the old model was three millimeters so therefore it's reducing weight once again what i plan to use this reel for is i'm going to be targeting redfish flounder speckled trout in the marsh system here off the texas coast i'm going to be using it to throw small little lures probably like 3 16th maximum probably even going down to 1 16th i'm going to be hooking it up with a bfs ultralight spinning rod from old 18 so really, really looking forward to putting this out in the water and listening to that drag screen, man. I'm, I love how spinning reels sound. I don't know about you guys. I wish my I wish my phone had an alarm clock that had this sound on it. I mean, that's so, so tantalizing, man. I love that sound. So what do you guys think about this new spinning reel from Daiwa? I absolutely love it, man. I think it's going to be a big hit. If you're a big fan of light spinning reels and you're not really a big fan of baitcaster reels, but you want something light to throw like BFS type applications, take a hard look at the Daiwa Arity. I mean, this is a game changer in my opinion because how light it is and Daiwa saying that it's the lightest model spinning reel they have ever created in the history of Daiwa. And we all know Daiwa has a long history of making high quality reels. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments once again, how you, what you think. I would love to hear your opinion. Don't forget to use my Digitaka code G47 for X amount of dollars off of the already low prices that Digitaka already has. Take advantage, it expires May 1st. So it's a big thank you for you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.